This is a commission piece by a University of Duke Blue Devil fan from Etsy. But first, let's take a look at some stuff I got coming up. Now, what I've already done is I already uh, airbrushed everything black. If you guys want to see more of the airbrushing process, let me know in the next videos. I'll try to add as much airbrushing as I can. But here I'm using small pieces of tape to mask everything up. It's a lot easier to use. Here was all masked up, ready for blue airbrush. But I do use a white base first so I can make the blue pop. If you're using a dark color and you want the other colors to pop, just make sure you use a light base. If not, this blue would have been just a dark blue and it would really not be able to tell the difference. Right here I'm just using the white base coat on the legs and as you can see there in the arm I've already put a white base. Now to make sure the paint flows and doesn't dry quickly when I'm using it on the palette, I picked up a wet palette. I suggest if you guys are going to do a lot of brushing, use a wet palette because it'll also make the paint flow smoother on your figure. It won't get all chunky. Now also I suggest get picking up a set of acrylic paint pens for the fine spots and small spots. These things work great and after it's sealed, it's beautiful. I'm putting white on the rivets just before I put the gold on just to make sure that they stand out nicely like the arrow there on the hood. Now that it's all done I use Mr. Super Clear. Hold on a sec, let me spin that around for you so you can get a better look at the label. There you go, Mr. Super Clear, it's a matte finish. Pick it up at a local hobby stop, shop or Amazon. And there it is, it's all done. You can see the gold rivets. The blue stands out real nice. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends.